Hey crazy people. Hey guys. It's Jay and Francis with Find Your Crazy. Uh, we are a family of nine who live full time in our RVs. We travel the country with six of our kids, two dogs and a turtle, <laughs> to visit every national park and a lot of other interesting things along the way, like today's video. Today we're bringing you another family tour guide for Custer State Park in South Dakota. Amazing. We were blown away yeah. and we think you will be too, so stay tuned. So this is our family tour guide for Custer State Park, a place where we had an amazing time as a family. And we want to help make sure that you have an amazing time when you visit with your family as well. So throughout this video, we're going to share our must-sees as well as our family pro tips that'll help you have just as amazing time as we did. But you might be wondering if you follow along with us regularly that we had been heading to Rocky Mountain National Park. That was our goal. And after we left Hot Springs National Park in Arkansas, we have been making our way out out west to those beautiful Rockies. And so you may be wondering, why in the world are you in South Dakota? Well, the wildfires broke out and there were just too much smoke. Our son has asthma, so even though um, it might have been okay for some people, it was really, really difficult for him. And so we decided to go ahead and head north and we hit all the way through Nebraska and we hit Custer State Park in South Dakota. And I'm going to tell you what, what a place to go to head from the wildfires because it was amazing. We knew we were going to stop there. We had planned, yeah. uh, we were headed to Wind Cave National Park uh, to check off another one of our national parks. And so we knew that we were going to stay uh, in Custer and see some of that, but we just weren't prepared for how much the Black Hills had to yeah. offer. Uh, Custer State Park is South Dakota's very first and largest state park. It's something like 71,000 acres uh, in so the amazing. Black Hills. And it is landscape unlike anything that our family had encountered uh, before and there's so much to do there. Mm -hmm. So not only is it Custer State Park, but basically Custer State Park is surrounded by Wind Cave National Park, mm -hmm. Jewel Cave, and Mount Rushmore, all it national monuments, it's all right there. stacked with amazing there. things to do. And so we're gonna do another family tour guide for Wind Cave that will include Jewel Cave and Mount Rushmore. So make sure that you look for that one. But while we were at Custer, there was so, so many things to do. And so that brings us to our first family pro tip. Uh, and that is you want to make sure that when you're looking at staying in this area, that you stay somewhere that's centrally located right. so that it's easy for you to get all of those things. Yes. And don't get sidetracked by staying off on one side. Um, it's all so close together that if you stay somewhere central, you can from one location hit everything with very minimal driving. Yes. We stayed just outside of Custer, the city in a little park, <laughs> RV park, called Echo Valley. Oh, it was, it was so, so adorable. Great. It was very small. I mm -hmm. mean, how many how many? Oh, um, gosh, sites I probably was there? only 20 sites there. Yeah, maybe 20 sites, and there was some tent camping there, mm -hmm. but it backs up to the beautiful Black Hills, but not only that, we were in the shadow of Crazy Horse. Yeah, we could see the monument from our Right campsite. there at night, and it was lit up, and it was just absolutely incredible. But what made this little <laughs> park so great were the camp owners. <laughs> yeah. They were so much much fun and as we came in we noticed as we were walking our dogs that there was an old like an antique fire yeah, truck from yeah. like the 70s it was awesome and so we thought that was so neat it said for sale and and one night as we were just sitting outside eating one of the camp, camp owners came over and he said you know what a little later on i'm gonna fire that thing up and we're gonna go for a ride <laughs> We're like, okay. That thing runs? Like, we thought it was just abandoned up there. Uh, something so, for the kids to play on. He said, no, Maybe. I really do take rides. And so we were t walking our dogs a little bit later on. And so we had walked down this beautiful trail. We were looking for this um, natural spring that's in the back of his property. And so we were just enjoying the beautiful, cool weather. It had turned really cold there. So we were enjoying the cold weather. We were just talking. Our kids were running. And all of a sudden, we hear this siren. Unlike anything you have ever heard, it was old school. And it was going on and on and we said to ourselves oh my gosh this is the ride he's gonna leave without us 
And so it was like the kids at the ice cream truck that comes through, we are all like running like crazy people because we didn't want to miss the ride on this amazing fire truck. And so we So we got up there it. and he pulls over and there's people piled all over this truck. Our family climbed up on the back where the hoses usually go, <laughs> and he takes off back up on these dirt roads, back down these trails behind. Like a His crazy like man, like so fast um, with in the a siren fire wailing, truck. Um, and <laughs> we took about uh, probably a two-hour yeah. ride back up into his property yes. uh, to a natural spring. So fast, like I thought there. we were going to just fall Our off. Our kids, it was it was hilarious. It was a memory we will never ever ever forget. And so sometimes the smaller places really give that family atmosphere. Yeah. Here, and we laughed and we giggled so and we hung on for dear Valley, life. Tell them to fire up the fire truck. <laughs> So when we finished up with our crazy ride, we were ready to go explore Custer State Park. Uh, and really you can kind of break Custer State Park up into kind of two main categories. So you've got some amazing hikes and some amazing drives. And so for the amazing hikes, we by far were blown away by two that really, honestly, of all the hiking that we've done, yes. and we've done a lot of hiking. Yeah, we have. The two of them probably rank in our top five across everybody in the family. They were unbelievable. The first one is Sylvan Lake. Uh, right in the middle of Custer, there's a little lake called Sylvan Lake, uh, and there's a trail that, that goes around it. It is a super easy trail. It um, it's paved completely on one half of it. The other half is all very level. There's one little spot where you go down maybe 50 or 60 steps, um, but that's only so you can see the bottom of the dam, uh, and then you go back up. Uh, amazing rock formations uh, and the all boys around it. Loved, if you have oh, boys or kids that love to rock climb mm. and rock scramble and, and kind of just get involved in that, you can get off the yeah. trails. There are so many beautiful boulders mm -hmm. and different types of landscapes from little waterfalls, kind of snuck up in areas from trees that are hollowed out that you can sit in. It has yep. just a myriad of opportunities mm -hmm. for your kids to get off the trail, yep. to enjoy some huge giant mountains, but mm -hmm. also some great grassy areas and a beautiful calm lake where you can even kayak in or there. Or swim. Yeah. Um, if you're there yes, in the you summer months, um, there were some people swimming when we were it was there. It so cold though. It was a little cold for really our thin cold. blood. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're there in the summer, like, you can even take your swimsuits yes. and swim so you should uh, after do that. you hike. Yeah. Uh, it was Be unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, it was, and it brings us to our next family pro tip because if you're there and looking around, if you're a movie buff, you <laughs> might think some things look familiar. And so our family pro tip is watch National Treasure 2 with your family. Yes. Uh, part of that movie, The Last part of the movie um, is filmed right there uh, on Sylvan Lake. In the movie, they kind of hike up behind Mount Rushmore, and right there's the lake. That's not at all no, where it actually is, <laughs> but it is pretty close. Um, and you can see literally the same rocks that right they're standing there. We have a picture on. You can stand we were on. standing on. It was really cool. Our kids cool. thought it was super, yeah. super cool, so you should definitely watch that yeah. uh, while you're there uh, exploring it. And so while that is a really easy, really accessible, yes. really flat, um, pretty short hike that anybody can do, um, our second hike is a little more advanced, but so worth it. Uh, it's Cathedral Spires Hike. Uh, this is a hike uh, that actually goes uh, out into uh, the wilderness a little bit, uh, and there is a little bit of elevation gain, uh, and there is um, some rocks that you kind of have to scramble up. Uh, so this is a little bit more advanced hike. But, but our the twins payoff, did great. Our oh yeah. twins were we able have special to do needs it. Twins. Absolutely. I would Never say, bad you know, a, a, a tip I would give you is to just wear your hiking boots. If you've got some better kind of grippy shoes other than just your regular tennis yeah. shoes or something like that, just make sure that you're prepared for that. Grab some water because it can take you a little while mm -hmm. to get up there. Um, it's not super difficult, but you do want to be prepared. Maybe a couple of snacks for when you actually get up to where the needle's eye is and you mm -hmm. get to experience some of the beautiful views up there. You're going to want to stay for a few minutes. Oh, you're going to want to take in these incredible views of the mm. spires and just look over the valley. So just bring a snack, bring some good shoes, bring a couple of, you know, bottles of water, and then just enjoy this incredible hike for what it is. And it's not too difficult, but you do no, want to be prepared. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, you know, not a flat hike around no. the lake, um, no. but it's definitely something that most anybody can do unless yeah. you've got some mobility issues. And the amazing thing about it is uh, there is 
amazing things to see the entire hike. Like there's a lot of hikes where you hike to the end mm -hmm. and there's some like big payoff at the end, some view or waterfall. This one, all along the way, there's just these amazing hills and valleys to look out. Uh, and then once you get to about the last third of the hike, you're really in this cup valley that is surrounded completely uh, by the mountains and these tall needle-like spires, yes. which is cathedral spires, obviously. Um, it was unbelievable. Um, our kids just kept looking around. We just kept saying, I, I can't believe that this is still a part of this It kind of looks like something out of um, Lord of the Rings or something like Narnia. Something I mean, pretty epic. Just really epic and it's it's con all the way around. But I would also tell you that when you've gone to the edge and you kind of see the sign and you're right there, go further. Keep going yeah. down because then you can kind of look over and just see all throughout the Black mm -hmm. Hills. And so just kind of keep going until you can't go anymore. Uh, we met a, a couple and they said, oh, I think we're done. Is this the end of it? We said, no, oh. you need to go, go a little bit further. Yards, yeah. So just keep going um, as far as that you can and you'll be really rewarded with some beautiful views of the Black Hills and overlooking the, the spires, the mountains, and just all of the beauty that is in Custer. Mm -hmm.
Whoa. What do you like most about the Cathedral Spire's hike? What do you like? You climbing the rocks. Climbing all the rocks, huh? All right, nice. Guy. <laughs> what do you think about Cathedral Spires? It was awesome. What was your favorite part about it? The needle. The needle, you like the needle? What about you, Jen? Yeah, I just like the hike overall. Yeah, it was pretty photographic, right? You could just kinda, there was beautiful flowers and everything. Yeah. You give it a thumbs up? Yes. Definite. All right, let's keep going. What did you like? like? The rocks. The rocks, were they big or were they little? They're big. They were very big. Did you climb on some rocks, Rosie? Yes, did you like it? Yes, oh, was it super fun or was it scary? It was super fun. It was super fun. All right, you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right, hey, whoa, Joe. What did you think about this hike, Cathedral Spires? Mm -hmm. What did you like most about it? I used to go to the needle. Oh, the needle's eye? Super cool. You give it a thumbs up? All right. So once you've done hiking, or if hiking's not really your yeah. thing, you're still in luck because there are some unbelievable drives uh, in Custer State Park. Uh, two main ones that we just loved. Uh, the first one is Needles Highway. <laughs> if you're gonna hike Cathedral Spires, it's actually right, right on the Needles yes. Highway. Like halfway through it, you're gonna pull over to the trailhead. Uh, and so you're gonna do it uh, as, as you do the hike. Uh, we drove part of it, hiked, and then drove the second part out. Uh, it is basically over the the top of these black hills you get to see so many of these literally needle spires uh, that go up uh, out of the ground uh, and then what's really 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 super cool is the <laughs> tunnels Yes. Specifically, Needle's Eye Tunnel, yeah. uh, which is a really, really tight uh, <laughs> tunnel. Um, and so our next family pro tip is, if you've got a bigger vehicle, yeah. make sure you check, check the specs uh, before you go. Uh, big they're Red listed. had to like suck in. I mean, yeah. like Big our Red. Kids, <laughs> our kids were like, dad, dad, dad. Um, it was pretty tight. Like, it's I think it's only like tight. eight feet wide or something. Yeah, so uh, just be careful so if you have an oversized vehicle. Make sure you check. This is not if, a place you're going to take your RV. Yeah, no, no, no. No, don't do that. <laughs> but it is a beautiful, beautiful drive, and there's lots of opportunity to see um, uh, at wildlife along the way. We saw deer, and right at the top, right before the tunnel, we saw a whole herd of yellow belly marmots. I don't know if it's uh, a herd. I don't know if you call a it pack, a herd. But um, that was something he gaggle, wanted the uh, whole time. He was like, yellow belly marmots. That Have was you all seen I one? I don't know why. And he saw one, and there was a whole little group of them, and they are adorable. They remind me of like beavers or yeah. something. But you're going to see Francis some... thought I was going to die. Like, I saw one on the side of the road, and so we pulled over, and I was <laughs> <laughs> gonna get out to try to get a closer, closer it like thing of it. Right, shears off. It's she thought very I was gonna scary. die. We can't see. We can't see. Yeah. Hey, don't be like elves. Um, luckily, he ran off, but then like a whole bunch of them um, yeah. popped up. I don't know what you call a group. Of yellow if you know marmots. in the comments, uh, let us know uh, if you know what a group herd, of yellow gaggle. belly marmots are called because I don't, I don't think it's a herd at all. I don't think it's anything to a herd, so, but anyway. Anyway. Um, Amazing, amazing drive. Definitely, definitely. He says amazing do it. a lot, so I think we should give him another cool word. Drive. <laughs> An awesome drive. Uh, I, I need to get my thesaurus out, I guess, um, because there's just so blown away by all this. Uh, and then the second one is uh, all about the wildlife. Yes. Uh, it is literally called the Wildlife Loop. Custer we have State got Park to go. is home to one of the largest bison herds in America. Uh, they actually started it uh, right after the park opened with like 36 animals and now um, I think the last count is something like 1,500 that they, they try to they're, keep it around. Really, really Unbelievable. majestic. Unbelievable. Uh, and then as you drive along uh, this wildlife loop, it's a big loop around the park. Um, before you start, Next family pro tip is stop by the visitor center. Um, there are a oh, lot yes. of state and national park visitor centers that you just want to stop in to grab a map mm -hmm. or maybe go to the restroom. And then there are some that are just over and above the top on and information. That's this one. That is this one. So um, interactive. So many things. So to do. many things in there. Uh, yeah. There's some things about some other things, but the majority of it is about the bison herd and about the bison and what's the difference between a bison and a buffalo and where did they come from and what how do they eat and what sounds do they make. I mean, there's 
all of these interactive exhibits for yes. the kids. Um, it was completely worth our stop and especially at the beginning of the wildlife yes. loop drive um, which is right where it is because then the kids get to see all of this stuff before they go out uh, and see these actual and animals. And what's really nice is that we are running into so many things during COVID that mm -hmm. are closed oh, and yeah. you are um, the visitor centers are completely closed and maybe only the small bookstore is open Not and the, all open. the ranges are outside. It was such a welcome mm. time to be able to go in yep. and really learn a lot. Yep. Um, this is great for road schooling and opportunities yep. for you just to really get immersed in that before you go out because then you really appreciate yep. what you're seeing. You really understand kind of more the topography and what's going yep. on in that area and what wildlife like to expect right. um, and so I would say a hundred percent you need to check in there you yep. will be blown away and even if you it is during COVID no you can still go there yep. and that's good news for those of us traveling during this time and then once you head on the wildlife loop be prepared to take a lot of extra time yes. because you are gonna see a lot of wildlife um, I mean a lot of wildlife. yes driving through there uh, we got to see big clusters of pronghorns mm -hmm. which was crazy cool uh we got to see big fields of um prairie dogs uh, which they're so neat. cute you have to go super, see the super prairie neat. dogs um but then the two highlights by far uh, were first the famous begging, begging burrows. burrows what what are those there is this little cluster of donkeys burrows <sighs> um that live right in this one little area uh curve yeah. on the road You'll and they're see called em. the begging burrows because they've gotten so <laughs> used to people don't and feed them so em. many people have fed them you're not supposed, you're not to, supposed to feed them but don't so many people em. have that they say that when um they're hungry they will come up and like knock on the door uh, uh -huh. window Stick their heads of in your, your car or if you got your window <laughs> your down there stick their head in when we came through uh, i guess it was past lunch time and it was just lounging time oh, um, the so they were all lounging were out everywhere. in the sun uh, and you could go right up to them yes. and, and they're pet beautiful them. they're oh. not just your typical kind of shaggy no. looking birds there are some that are white and blonde there are just so beautiful cool. and you can hear them calling when they there was this one who was all the way out in the field and we heard him and he made a beeline and he knew that <coughs> somebody had a carrot yep. and he had seen from all the way across this huge field seen it, and smelled came, it, something. and he is he hawing all the way and he would push us out of the way we were like trying to touch him and he was like get out of my way and he came right up and was like hey give me something to eat so they are legit begging burrows so much fun kids our kids loved, loved it. it they weren't scared at all and then the number one of course is the bison, bison. um the bison herds as we were driving along we passed first <laughs> a couple of like little individual males um it was getting close to the rut and so i think they were just kind of ostracized from the herd and then all of a sudden we come around this one corner and there are I mean, it had to be like a thousand of them. Um, I mean, as far as you could see, like <laughs> up against the road, on the other side of the road, on the other side of the clearing. Everywhere you looked. Everywhere you looked. Um, and they were right beside the road. And so we were able to pull over and, I mean, just get some amazing pictures. And some of them were crossing and we'd have to stop and watch them cross. It was so cool i mean we sat there for forever and we um, thought that was it we were like cool we thought we, were we, we saw some bison this is awesome and then so and then then we decided <laughs> to leave um and it's from this huge field area um and then the road kind of curves through a little divot where basically there's hills on both sides and so we're kind of curving through this and all of a sudden here come these like six bison in a line just walking down the other side of the road and so we're like oh my goodness that's so crazy and then we turn the next corner and here come a the other bison thousand jam i um, mean <clears throat> Crazy. Yeah. You little just... scary. Our kids were like, Mom, roll up the window. Roll up the window. Stop, Mom. Because I was trying to get a video of them. It was pretty scary at times because they was, were. <laughs> it was a pretty surreal experience. <laughs> there were a lot of them. Oh, it is massive. Wow. There are so many. Look. Bison. 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 Whoa. <laughs> Oh boy, look at the big guy. Shut 
the window. Not as big as scared, Joe. It's like there's bodies. That's oh, huge. Oh, He's huge. Oh, oh boy. Please don't hit us. Check the window. Check the window, Mom. So during the commercial break, um, our uh, <laughs> industrious 19-year-old uh, got on her phone and exercised uh, her right abilities uh, as uh, a millennial uh, and found out that a, a group of yellow belly marmots is called, you ready? A madness. Because they're mad cute, man. So there you go. Um, madness. A madness. Who knew? <laughs> she, um, also told us that a, she also told us that a group of crows is called, called a murder. murder. So anyway, there's that for you too. That's a free one. 
So lots of stuff to do uh, in Custer in uh, the state park, but it's not just the drives uh, and the hikes. There's some other fun things to do too. Yeah. Our next family pro tip is if you've got boys, you really need to stop by Gordon's Stockade. Um, it's a quick stop. It's right at the entrance. It's an old historic stockade that they've recreated. Uh, and so it's basically like a wooden fort. <laughs> boys had a blast there. Yeah, and there. it's got little houses in the inside mm -hmm. and you can kind of look around. It was really, yeah, really fun. Really, really, really super neat. Yeah. And then if you have horse lovers, which um, my daughter and I are, we are horse lovers and we're horse riders. And um, so we looked around <coughs> for the opportunity that someone, one of my friends, Diane, shared that she had gone horseback riding through the Black Hills and that lit us up like a Christmas tree. Yeah. We were super excited. And so we took the opportunity right down from Echo Valley was a little um, stable where we were able to go on an incredible trail ride about an hour and a half to two hours up through the aspens nice. all the way and it was during fall so this is the time to go when all the aspens are turning the beautiful shades of yellow and we were able just to kind of get out and enjoy a quiet beautiful trail ride where we saw deer and coyote and uh -huh. and lots of fa uh, fabulous fabulous things and so if you have a horse lover you should get out of maybe the traditional things and look for a trail ride because they can do beginners all the way up to those who like to take a, a half day or even more than that trail ride if you're not a horse lover, but you're a pie lover, you're in and luck too. And who isn't? And who isn't? We all are. Um, our last family pro tip is you got, especially if you're staying near Custer, even if you're not, you got to go to Custer. Yes. You got to go to the Purple Pie Place. That's right, the Purple Pie Place. Uh, it is all about some pie. I think they, <laughs> they've got ice cream too, which some of our kids yeah. got, but the pie. pie is where it's at. All kind of different pies. Rhubarb, um, yummers. I got a rhubarb strawberry pie. Yes. Never had that before. So good. Amazing. <laughs> What? Are we smiling or eating? Is this a photo or Just video? eating. Video. <laughs> Just need to know. <laughs> what are we doing here? What am I doing here? Uh, they have pies that they have every day and then they have rotating pies. <laughs> so if you're there more Rotating than one day, pies. you should go back multiple times. Uh, it was that Super good. Super cute. What a little fun place to go. Just a little All bit right. of quaint, uh, you know, kind of fun place to go. You need to go. So that is our family tour guide for Custer State Park. Uh, that is just the stuff that's in the state park. Uh, as I said, we're going to have another video, which you can link to here, uh, that's going to tell you all about the stuff that's around it. Um, but that's just Custer. Uh, amazing, amazing things to do. If you're amazing. near it at all, you definitely need to go <laughs> see it. Uh, so that's it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we would love for you to do that right now. Uh, we go to every national park. We're headed to every national we park, hope. but also lots of interesting things along yeah. the way like Custer State Park uh, and so you it. can hit that subscribe button uh, and make sure that you don't miss anything and if you uh, like you can this also video check out. you can give us a little oh, yeah. thumbs up we That'd would love great. that and don't forget to leave um, a comment and maybe tell us what your favorite thing if you've ever been to the Black Hills what's something that you loved if yeah, we didn't so visit it leave it that because we get lots of ideas in our comment section for ourselves and everybody else that's reading it and watching it so until next time make sure you go out and have some crazy fun with your crazy family see you guys bye guys